Hey there, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the Super 8 look on your footage using Adobe Premiere Pro and a few free downloads I've found around the internet. So this is actually quite simple to do, but there is a certain way you need to go about doing it. So I'm gonna show you that. Uh, also, this just can make your footage look really, really good and makes your footage look very unique, especially if you wanna use this for a film uh, or maybe an advert, something like that. So anyway, let's get started in Premiere Pro. So here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and I have the footage that I want to use already in my timeline. So the first thing I want to say before we start, and it's truly important for this look, is to really think about the footage that you want to use and if it looks right for this style. Meaning make sure to use handheld shots rather than gimbal or tripod shots. Look at how real Super 8 videos look. Barely any of the footage is static or super smooth. Some might be on a tripod, but if you use a gimbal for this look, it will just look super unnatural. So as you can see here, these shots are quite shaky. I actually think this really helps the aesthetic. So just a quick note before getting into it. Now, the first step is to take the eight millimeter frame and place it above your clips. Then change the blend mode to darken. Next, just place this one more layer up because you're going to add the grain just under this layer. Now, change the grain blend mode to overlay. And now you have this vintage grain look on the clips. You can change the opacity to whatever you like, depending on how light or strong you want it. I normally put mine at about 70%. This 4K grain is actually part of one of our LUT packs. So if you wanna grab the 4K grain and the LUTs, check out the link in the description below. Now take the frame one more layer up and place the flicker effect between the two. Right click and press scale to frame size. Also change the blend mode to soft light. You can see it does make the footage look a little dark. So just add an effect called brightness and contrast and then turn the brightness up. You can see when I click it on and off, it's back the same. Now you have this nice subtle flicker effect that you see on Super 8 cameras. Another tip you can do, which is more of a personal preference, but right now I think the footage itself looks a bit too sharp for it to really replicate a Super 8 camera. So we need to almost lower the quality of the footage. So a good way of doing this is creating an adjustment layer and then placing it above your footage. And then simply adding a Gaussian blur and then putting it to around 15 to 20%. But just play around with this. Now watching it again, you can see it's really starting to look like classic Super 8 footage. Now there's even more we can do to get this exact. So think about how Super 8 cameras looked. They're not 24 or 25 frames per second, they're actually 18 frames a second. So we need to convert this footage to the same as that. The way to do this is to search for an effect called posterize time. Now drag this onto the adjustment layer and change this to 18. Now you have this effect it's really starting to come together. Now the last step to add another layer of aesthetic is adding some film burns on top of the footage. So I have this pack here that I found free online and I'll make sure to put a link in the description below. Grab this and place it above every layer. Then change the blend mode to screen. Then just add this to where you feel like adding it. Try not to overdo it of course. So that's pretty much every step. The only one I missed out is color. And this again is really a personal preference to how you want the color to look. But as I want to try and recreate the Super 8 look, I try not to play around with the color too much as keeping it flat is close to the Super 8 look. But you know what, experiment with this because this aesthetic can make your footage look really good and it can just make your projects unique and much more creative. So again, just play around with it. 
So there we go, I hope this has helped you create that Super 8 look within Premiere Pro. Now, we didn't actually make a lot of those pieces, they were free downloads online. So a big thank you to the people who did create those and I'll put a link in the description so you can find their socials, their YouTube channels and where you can download those pieces. So anyway, thanks for watching and make sure to check out our other Premiere Pro videos up here and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.